Oh, and just like the pets, Central Ohioans are bugging out over these cicadas. And those of you with a green thumb might be a little nervous about your gardens. But Doppler 10 meteorologist Ross Caruso is here with some advice on how to protect your yard. Ross. Yeah, guys, you know, just like we mentioned a little bit ago, you don't really have to worry about your garden, which is great because like myself, I have a lot of vegetables that I'm hoping to get a lot of yield here in the next couple months. But as far as your trees, if you have smaller trees, you certainly can cover them up with a netting, which will be great to have. But there are things that you shouldn't do. So I spoke to Dr. Doug Yonaga, who is a senior museum scientist at the University of California, Riverside. And he said the last thing you want to do is spray anything near the roots of the trees. All sorts of critters will get at the cicadas and start munching on them. And if you've sprayed them with some nasty pesticides, it's not going to hurt the cicadas as much as it's going to hurt the things that are eating them, like the birds. So that's something that people should definitely avoid. And as he clearly said there, certainly birds or any other types of critters like opossums or squirrels or even your own pets, the last thing you want to do is spray any of those insects with a pesticide or incesticide because it's really not going to do a whole lot. But if you are going to spray your tree, well, the problem is where the cicadas fall into the soil, there are going to be 8 to 10 feet on average below the top of the soil here. So you run into the problem of, well, you soak the soil with this pesticide or whatever chemical you're using. The problem is it's probably not going to reach deep enough for you to actually hit the cicadas in the first place. So you're just causing more harm for your plants. And certainly that's the last thing you want to do, especially have any little ones outside as well. But there are some good things that the cicadas have that can offer for your own backyard and even your very own garden. We'll have more details on that coming up later tonight at 11. But for now, Ashley, I know with rain in the forecast, Cicadas like a nice warm rain after mm -hmm. the soil temperatures have been at that 64 degrees sweet mark. So it certainly looks like we may be seeing and hearing a lot more here over the next couple days.